a short section of the 25 miles of mine tunnel at Idria, California. A string of cars is lined up at a chute, down which will flow ore blasted loose on an upper level. No need to shovel the ore into the cars, just let it fall in. This is a technique for reducing drudgery and expense employed in most modern mines these days. The ore being taken out of this mine is called cinnabar, a reddish rock from which will be extracted the quicksilver or mercury used in thermometers, pharmaceuticals, mercury vapor lamps, electronic computers, spark-free electric switches, and now may be an important element in atomic power plants as a heat transfer agent. The loaded cars move out of the mine, the oldest and largest quicksilver mine in the country, toward the nearby reduction mill of New Idria Mining and Chemical Company. Ever since mercury was proposed as a substitute for water in power plant boilers heated by atomic fission, operations here have been at an all-time peak. In addition to maintaining maximum production, the company has been cooperating with the federal government in an intensive search for new cinnabar deposits. The ore goes first into crushers, where it is reduced to chunks having a diameter of no more than two inches. Then it's fed into one of four 56-foot rotary kills, where the mercury it contains vaporizes and is extracted in the form of gas. A temperature of 450 degrees centigrade drives off all the mercury in about half an hour. The gas then flows through a condensing system and ends up mixed with water and dust on this separating table on which rollers squeeze out the mercury, now finally in the liquid metal form we've been seeking. See the small trickle forming there? It grows rapidly as the mercury particles come into contact with it and flow along, leaving the water and foreign matter behind. Some additional purification will be necessary before the mercury reaches the bottling room to be measured out in 76 pound flasks, which are the standard unit of measurement. With a possible role in the peaceful application of atomic energy, quicksilver producers can look forward to a bright future indeed. <laughs>